And 105, we're going to be using color A. We want to find the chain two corner space before either of the long sides. And in the corner space, we will place two double crochet chain two, and two more double crochet. Oops. There we go. And that will give us our new corner. We're going to skip this first stitch of the side and place a double crochet in each of the stitches down the side. That should be 241 stitches worked down the side. So double crochet in each stitch, missing the first stitch just after the corner. So you can go ahead and work that now. So after the corner, we made 241 double crochet. We'll make the next corner two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet in that corner. And then ready to start working down the short side. Again, we will skip this first stitch of the side, double crochet in each of the remaining stitches. So I believe that's 181 stitches. We will place a double crochet. So after the corner, that's 181 stitches down the short side. We've reached the next corner and we'll start all over again with the corner, work the long side and the short side again, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of this round. Round 106, we're using color C. In the corner, we will make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then work a back post double crochet around each of the stitches. So just a reminder on the back post double, you yarn over, insert from the back around the post of the stitch, back out to the back, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then finish a double crochet. So you'll work that around each stitch down each side, corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, joining to our starting stitch once you've worked all the way around and fasten off. Round 107, we're using color E. We'll start in the corner space before a long side and we're going to place three single crochet in that corner space. So I'm just going to mark the center of those three single crochet as my corner stitch for now. We're going to place a double crochet in each of these first four stitches. One, two, three and four double crochet. We'll chain one and skip the next stitch. And starting with this next stitch, this next little bit, we'll repeat a total of 20 times down the side. So we've skipped this stitch. We're going to double crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. So that's two, Ten and eleven double crochet. We'll chain one, skip one. So we want to work that 20 times down this long side. And I'll meet you at that spot. 
So when you've worked those 20 repeats, we'll be skipping this stitch and we have four stitches left. So you're going to place a double crochet in those remaining four stitches. Then we'll work the corner with the three single crochet in that corner space. And then we'll work the same pattern on the short side where we double crochet in four. Oops, two, three, and four. We'll chain one and skip one. And then to start our repeat, double crochet in 11. Ten and eleven double crochet chain one skip one so we will work that 15 times down the short side so when you've worked those 15 repeats down the side after you skip that last one we will double crochet in the remaining four stitches before the next corner then you can work a corner again with those three single crochet and repeat down the long and the short side joining to our starting stitch and finishing off at the end of this round. Round 108, we're using color G. We're going to start in this first double crochet past the three single crochet in the corner. We're going to single crochet in each of these four doubles at the start of the long side. So it's two, three, and four single crochet. Chain one, we'll skip the chain one space. Single crochet in each of the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. We're going to chain one and skip the next stitch. So we're going to now be making several of these butterfly stitches down the long side. So I've gone ahead and worked a practice one so I can show you correctly as we work through it. Okay, so I've pulled out my practice butterfly so I can walk you through this stage now. You'll see my loops are a little bit stretched because I've already worked into them. So we've chained one and skipped this next stitch. We want to work into this next one. We follow this stitch down and find the stitch that we worked the back post double crochet around. And we will put the stitch marker around that stitch. So the first, the butterfly is made with four wings. So the first wing, we're going to skip this stitch, we're going to slip stitch into this back loop of the next stitch. Oops. Chain four, treble crochet in that same back loop, and then make a pico. Pico, we chain three, we'll insert into the top loop of the stitch and that first side loop and make a slip stitch to form the pico. Treble crochet back into that same back loop on round 107. Chain three. And then we're going to make a slip stitch, but we're going to use the front loop of that same stitch. 
And then to make the second and third wings, we want to turn our work so we're looking at it upside down. And then we will make a chain two, double crochet in that same front loop that we just slip stitched into. So we're making a double crochet, chain two. Now we want to find the stitch that we marked on round 105. And we want to find the second stitch that from this view looks like it's before the marker. And under both top loops of that stitch, we will slip stitch. Then chain two and back into that same front loop on 107, we'll make another double crochet, chain two and slip stitch back into that same front loop. And you can see we have our first wing and our second wing attached to the round 105 stitch. Similarly, we'll make the third wing. So we'll chain two, double crochet in that same front loop on round 107, chain two. And then coming down, finding our mark stitch of 105, and two stitches before that from this view, we'll make a slip stitch. So I'll get my working yarn correct, my mark stitch, two stitches before the mark stitch under both loops, we'll slip stitch. Chain two, double crochet back in that front loop of 107, chain two, and slip stitch in that same front loop. We have three wings, that twists a bit on this angle, but we have three wings on our butterfly. For the fourth wing, we want to come back to the right side and our blanket will be quite twisted right now. That's fine for working this fourth wing. I'll show you how we solve that in a minute. So we will chain three. Then we're going to treble crochet back into the same back loop where we made that stitch before, but this time we want to sort of pull that back loop forward in front of our chain one that was before our first wing. So treble crochet in the back loop of that same stitch of 107, make the pico, so that's chain three, insert in the top loop and the side loop, for a slip stitch, treble crochet back in that same back loop in front of our chain one previous to the butterfly, chain four, slip stitch back in that same back loop, and chain one, and that completes the fourth wing. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to make that loop a bit longer, remove my hook from the loop, untwist the blanket. So that's what it looks like now from the right side. Four wings on our butterfly. This chain one, we want to kind of fold behind that first wing that we made. We're going to skip the next stitch on 107, single crochet in the next four stitches. That's two, three, four. We'll chain one, skip the chain one space, single crochet in the next four stitches. Chain one and skip one. 
In this next stitch, we're going to make another butterfly. So what you want to do, I've used another marker, but you can remove the marker that you used. Come up to, we've skipped this stitch, we want to work in this next stitch, follow it down to the stitch on round 105 and place your marker. And then you'll repeat. You'll make another butterfly, making those single crochet and chain with ones behind. You'll do that a total of 20 times down the long side. So I'm going to let you go ahead and work those stitches. So we've worked these butterflies and single crochets and chain ones 20 times down the side. We've now reached the corner. As part of our last repeat, we needed to skip the next stitch, which is the first single crochet of the corner. You can go ahead and remove the stitch marker that we used by the last butterfly. So we're going to make a butterfly in the corner. So we want to slip stitch in that back loop of the middle single crochet. Chain four, treble crochet in that same back loop, work the pico. A second treble in that same back loop, oops. chain three and then slip stitch in the front loop of that same stitch turn our work we'll chain two double crochet in that same front loop chain two. And then for a slip stitch, we are going to work in, so we have our corner stitches in this first stitch past the corner, we'll place our slip stitch. Chain two, come back up, double crochet in that same front loop. chain two, slip stitch in that same front loop. So we should have two petals made for the third petal, or sorry, wings. For the third wing, we'll chain two, double crochet in that same front loop, chain two. And then looking past the corner, in round 105, that first stitch past the corner will slip stitch, chain two, double crochet back up in that same front loop, chain two, slip stitch in that same front loop, chain three. So that's three wings done, then turning a little bit more. We want to make a treble crochet in that same back loop and again trying to bring it in front of where we worked the chain one before that first wing. So treble crochet in the back loop of that same stitch, pico, treble crochet in that same back loop, chain four, slip stitch in that same back loop, chain one. Remove the hook from the loop and twist our work back. So it is straight once again proceed down the short side, skipping that 
next single crochet and then single crochet in these four doubles chain one skip the space single crochet in the four doubles chain one skip the next stitch So then we'll continue the same repeats where we will work the butterfly and then skip one stitch after single crochet in four, chain one, skip the space, single crochet in four, chain one, skip one. We'll do that repeat, which is the same as the long side. We'll do this 15 times down the short side. So you can go ahead and work that now as well. When you've worked down the short side with those 15 repeats, we'll have skipped the first stitch in the corner, so we'll slip stitch to that back loop of the middle corner stitch. We'll work our butterfly in the same way, except to come down and slip stitch. You're going to slip stitch around this first double crochet just after the corner, and then on this last double crochet before the corner. So we'll start your first wing with the chain four and work it the way we have before. Treble, chain three, pico. Treble all in that back loop. Chain three slip stitch in the front loop of that same stitch and we'll chain two turning our work double crochet in that same front loop chain two and then this is where we come and we find that stitch when we're looking at it upside down like this it's the stitch before the corner we slip stitch there chain two come back up double crochet in the same front loop chain two slip stitch in that same front loop chain two double crochet in that same loop chain two then come down and we want to slip stitch in that double crochet that's just after the corner from this viewpoint chain two back up and double crochet in that same front loop chain two slip stitch in the same front loop and starting the fourth wing we'll chain three turn a little bit more so we can make that treble in that same back loop but working in front of our last chain one before the butterfly so treble chain three pico treble in that same front loop chain four slip stitch in that same front loop chain one remove our hook twist your work back the right way and again that chain one will go behind the first wing single crochet in these four stitches before the chain one chain one single crochet in four chain one skip one slip stitch in the back loop Follow that stitch down, set your marker, and proceed to make these butterfly wings 
down the second long and short sides. So you can go ahead and work that now, joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round.